free tacos at the Taco Shack. Come and get your coupon now. Uncle Jetto's old yoga mat may come in handy. Hmm. Let's see what's in this box. Holy nachos! It's a box filled with plastic pink flamingo lawn ornaments. I'll just take one. Free tacos at the Taco Shack. Come and get your coupon. Cures hunger. Guaranteed not to cause indigestion. IBS safe. Free tacos. Come and get your. Cures hunger. Guaranteed not to cause indigestion. Hey, I was right. My coin on a string was in here. Let's see what's in this box. It's a memory stick that looks like a curiously familiar cartoon character. I could record some audio with this. It's a really neat extendable dinosaur grabber. I could grab something really far away with this. You never know when you need a dinosaur grabber. Hold on, what's this photo under this old rag? What? Holy chimichanga. It's the same picture from our ship, but it has my mom on it. Why would Uncle Jetto keep this from me? I'm taking it. Mom, why did a robot from your home planet come looking for me? Something's written on the back. Jetto, Bass, Inventoria. My dad used to go by Bass, Bayard Alexander Stardust, Jeddo, Jesus Emmanuel Domingo Ortega, and my mom, a good team. Wait a second, are these coordinates? Rendezvous? Rendezvous for what? Oh, space. More pieces to the puzzle. Focus, Dexter. Don't get sidetracked. It talks about the myth of the Martian bog monster. Hey, that's the monster that Chucha was talking about. Alrighty, let's hear how to avoid and summon the bog monster. The speaker doesn't seem to be working. Let's take a look underneath this panel. No wonder the button won't work. The speaker's blown out. I wonder if there's some other way to hear the recording. It looks like a crate from Pete's Ukulele Emporium. It's all broken up. Hmm, it looks like a bunch of free ukulele vouchers. I wonder what happened here.
The instructions to the super pump are all ripped up. Hmm, if I want to use it, I'll have to find the sequence somewhere else. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'll just turn this. I'll just turn this. I'll just pull this and see what happens. Hey, I turned it on. I must have gotten the sequence right. Okay, Space Scouts, this way to the waterfall. Wait, no, maybe it's behind us, or, or in front. Hold up, troop. I'll show you how to read a map like a true navigator, as soon as I figure out where we are. Hey, you guys look lost. Do you need any help? No, thanks. We're on our way to see the waterfall. I'm just taking a brief look at this map here. Are you sure? You look really lost. Thank you for your concern, sir. But I assure you, we have everything under control. It's not a big deal. I'm sure I can call someone or... We are very capable, sir. We have our official navigator's badges to prove it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know you had a badge. It's okay, sir. Now I must concentrate on leading my troop. All right. See ya. Never know when you'll need some rope. Yikes! It's super slippery! I can't cross it until I figure out how to make it less slippery. Now that's a novel idea. There's not much here, but I guess I can take this empty can. Doug, he's wearing a pilot's flight suit. Looks like that gash on his side is what did him in. I wonder what got him. I don't want to bother him. He had a key in his pocket. Looks like he's got something in his hand there. I should probably pick it up. What's this? It's the PPH activation instructions. Bob was right. Doug did have a death grip on it. There are instructions to activate all three radio huts. Hmm, looks like there's a specific order. It goes one, then two, then three. Absolutely genius. It's really busted up. It looks a little dangerous to climb in there. Maybe I can get the dome off. Usually there's an emergency dome eject on these saucers. It's not doing any good attached to this piece of junk. This diving suit is coming with me. There's nothing interesting to do with it.
One. Two. Whoa. Keep your eyes peeled, Scouts. We don't want any surprises. Ooh, I hope it didn't hit anyone. Let's see what's inside the cockpit. Something tells me I'm gonna be picking up a lot of keys. Yeah, this will definitely fit in my jacket. Wow, I'm surprised the saucer dome didn't shatter when it hit the bamboo. I can't pick up any radio signals that way. Well, it's a little bent up, but I think it'll still work. It still doesn't seem ready to broadcast. I need to put something in this slot here, but I don't know what. Hey, I think the circuit board fits in here. The antenna and the circuit board are in place. Now, I just have to find a radio that can transmit at 95.5. Ugh, this is gonna be gross. Hey, Uncle Jetto, can I play with the radio? I'll stop you in. Okay, let's see what we got here. The secrets of the bog monster. Oh, space! It's transmitting from the kiosk in the forest. I did it! The Martian bog monster has been seen by so few people that some believe it doesn't even exist. Where did this otherworldly creature come from? Some scientists believe it was once the dominant species on Mars. But due to atmospheric changes induced by early Martian settlers, the bog monster slowly approached extinction. Some say that the bog monster has a curious culinary palate. It's drawn by the smell of beef and watermelon. However, watermelon in particular has been reported to induce vomiting in the elusive creature. Certainly beware of picnicking in the vicinity of reported sightings. Brought to you by the Parks and Recreation Department of Nuevo Consuelo. Fascinating. I should change the station so that the forest kiosk transmission doesn't loop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, the light years. I love the light years. Yeah, I'll record that. I love the light years. Here, I'll change the station for Uncle Jetto. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back to Latin Loop. Me encanta Latin Loop. Free tacos at... Come and get your coupon now. Huh, it looks like it fell to the ground somehow. Imagine that. Hey, I kind of feel like a pirate with this thing. Ooh, he looks pretty mean. Hey, wait. He's got some kind of a helmet thingy. Looks like mind control. Who is it? Is Pete home? I'm Pete. Great. I was wondering if... Go away! 
Something tells me I'm gonna have to find another way in. Who is it? Hi, this is Dexter Stardust, and I wanted to ask you about your Vreezian power core. What about it? Oh, so you do have one. Great. I was wondering if... Wondering what? If you could borrow it? Maybe just a little bit? You think I purchased a radiation-resistant suit, chartered a ship, travel all the way back to Earth in search of Vreezian technology, just so you borrow it? Sure. Ha! Not a chance. Well, at least now I know for sure Pete has Vreezian power core. If I can just talk to him in person, I'm certain he would be more reasonable about me using it. Now, how am I going to get past Pete's dog? That dog sure likes destroying things. Sorry, little guy, but if you're not going to let me in, I have to resort to drastic measures. It worked. I kind of feel bad though. That hot sauce is really spicy. Oh well, I'll have to make it up to him later. Now I have to get inside the mansion and get that power core from Pete. It's probably locked. I shouldn't even try to open it. What good can possibly come from opening a door that's most likely, inevitably, inescapably, indubitably, surely locked? Oh hey, it's open. Here goes nothing. What do you want? Oh, I, um... Hola, Pete. I talked to you earlier about using your Vreezian power core. You don't take no for an answer, do you? No, sir. I was just hoping to explain why I need it. You see, my friend Aurora and I found this ro- Don't want to know. Don't care. Y you don't understand. I needed to find out what happened to my mom. I said I don't care. Now go away. Yikes! This is the planetary positioning hunt map Bob was talking about. Right click on the map in your inventory to jump to previously visited radio huts or PPHs. Let's see what's behind Bob's hut. He's trying to get that mind control device off his head. Maybe I can find a way to help him. You can't get me from in here. Here goes nothing. Got it. Look how happy he is now. Okay, let's see here. All I got was a gumball.
Okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, another gumball. Okay, let's see here. Cool! It's a toy compass! There used to be a game called Obliteroid in this spot. Now it's just this jukebox, and it looks like they only have one record. Let's put some light years in the taco shack. Now we're rocking. Hey man, thanks. I really needed some good tunes. I could get lost in these songs. I'll just take these while he's distracted with the song. Let's see, these should work on the fuel door. And the fuel door is open. Sorry, Troy, but I need a little gas from your car. I still left a little in the tank, so the car should still stay hovering. Oh well, uh, sorry, Troy. Free talk. Come and get your coupon now. I think it's the boat that goes to the island with the radio hut on it. Free talk. Come and get your coupon. Free tacos at the top. All right, we should be ready to go. Here we go.